Hey guys, in YouTube land, um, just wanted to carry on with the build of my torch. So I'm just using simple brake line, and this is kind of has a copper coating. There is two different types, and this particular one is uh, three sixteenths OD and one eight ID. So the one eight ID will allow for very little clogs and what I did was I I uh, made it to the required length that I wanted and I just soldered these two pieces together now this is just a regular air compressor nipple um, with a quarter inch in PT. So I'm using two torches in my furnace. So I needed one of them and one of them. And next, I also needed two torch tubes. So this is stainless steel. And they're both pieces, same size. This is a 30 degree angle. So the air is going to enter in this way. And the fuel is, so I drilled and tapped. Well, I didn't drill, but I tapped the end of this for the quarter NPT. So it will just get threaded in, like so. And the end of the fuel line will protrude about an eighth of an inch. I haven't got this threaded all the way down, but the problem I'm having is it's hard to keep this maintained in the middle. So the idea I've come up with is I blanked out with my shim punch a few washers so four washers and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch them out so they become a helical vein so just like this I'm gonna stretch I'm gonna put these off to the side for a second and just where with my fingers, I'll start it. And then with a pair of vice grips, I grab this one end. And with another pair of vice grips, I grab this one end. And I just stretch and as I'm stretching I'm also twisting and I'm going to twist this up and keep stretching it and what I want to have accomplished is two rotations So when I slip this on, it becomes a spin vein. And I have to clean up the ends a little bit. And those, so as I said, I have to bend these just 
because those were locked inside the vice grips so they're not a perfect bend but in the end I'm gonna have two of these so it'll look like a drill flute so I'm gonna bend up three more so I have one for each or two for each torch and then I will insert these in so as the air comes in through the torch tube it won't be able to get out the back side and if little does it'll be getting through the threads and that's not enough that I'm worrying about but the air will come in through the 30 degree come down start spinning and since this is flared brake tube there's gonna be a little bit of a Bernoulli effect if I'm saying that correct so it will the air will rush and flow faster around and then want to collapse the fuel and that will start atomizing it and it will be spinning at the same time so get to doing the extra work off camera and I'll be back when I start to install the fuel pipes into the burn tube. You have my shim punch here on the floor and over here on the bench I have what are called a shim punches. So this particular one is an inch and a quarter diameter and this one is an inch and a half diameter. Just slip this in and the shim punch is just two plates of steel with a gap between them and just there's shim here at the back. So I'm going to slip this in so then I put the inch and a quarter in. I like to try to get it in one hit. It leaves a nice shear. So there's one hit and it slugs out what I don't need. Now I'll swap this one out for the inch and a half. And this is where I have to align it really good because it's and that's what I'm looking for. There's a closer look at what I'm looking for. So now I'm just gonna snip them. Just cut them fairly straight. And that's what I'm looking for now. So I got them all stretched off camera. And uh, this is what it looks like. So this one is already installed and it's got a little bit of a kind of a two flute drill effect. So this is how I put them together. I just kind of wrap them around slowly. And that's it, it's on. So I'm slip on the next one. And the next one will, you can follow completely the first one. And then at the end, So that's the two of them side by side and then just with a little spin set it to 180 degrees and 
and that's it. Next, you take them and you corkscrew them into the tube. So in case they catch any burrs, let's try to keep them in place. Bring it down, start the threads up oh so ever nicely. Got a wrench on there. So that's tight. So yeah, they did shift around a bit here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just reach in there with oh, one of my practice pieces and see if I can just shift it. There we go. So now the pipe, you can see it's hanging out about an eighth of an inch. And it's fairly center. I could give it a little bend, I guess, if I wanted to. The pipe has a little dent on that one side. No big deal. So it's ready to uh, add the fuel, add the air, and torch her off. Anyway, I'll assemble the second one and hopefully we'll get to uh, light her up. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, comment.